All right, Steve here with Rank File Forge. Um, today, went for my buddy Daryl to come down. He's gonna help me do some welding. Gonna start working on a uh, rear bumper kind of thing. Uh, I don't know if it's actually, uh, I wouldn't call it a bumper, but it's a structural member to protect the gas tank, the brand new gas tank, because now it's in the back. I just wanna make sure that uh, if I get in an accident or something, we're not gonna have any, uh, any explosions. Don't want that. Um, basically, I'm calling it a structural roll pan. I don't know if that's uh, the best way to describe it. But I'm gonna go to the back of the bumper here and I'm gonna see if I can get this on camera real quick here, but sorry, Pete. But along this part here, I wanna put a steel piece. We're gonna decorate it. I'm gonna have a plate on top, it says C on there, and I'm gonna have some lights in there, and build the whole thing, but we're gonna build it. Got a wiring already here from the factory harness, so we're gonna see if we can build something, bolt it on today. Get at it. Okay, here we are at the back of the truck. We've got a piece of four inch channel iron. We're gonna weld up here. What I did earlier with Daryl is we drilled some steel, cut some steel here. We're gonna use this as a bracket to bolt the bumper onto the frame. We're not gonna weld a channel to the frame. We're gonna weld it to these brackets. Um, these are grade eight hardware. We're gonna pull this off, be able to weld it up. But right now we're gonna put it on here, fit it up, tack it to where we wanna be. And we'll go tack the other side, then we'll unbolt it, pull it off, weld it up. Make a few other uh, additions to the to the channel here. Uh, my buddy Daryl's going to be doing the welding on it. We're going to weld some uh, some plate. We're going to make a flange on here so we can bolt a cap on here. We're going to have this looking all like a solid chunk of steel there. Basically, it's like a structural roll pan. Um, we've got a little surprise. What we're going to do on the capping of the steel, we actually plasma cut a little plate here. It says C on it, and we're going to actually light it up. We'll get to that a little bit in a bit. It'll look um, very cool. Yeah, it's gonna look very cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get set up, we're gonna weld it up, I'll put it on time lapse and we'll uh, see what we can do. So what we want to do, we've got our nice sign that we're putting on here. So I need to have some bracing behind it so I can screw this on. So what we're going to do, I'm going to have Daryl weld it on. We're going to put some bars. I've already measured it up. We're going to put two bars here. We're going to have bars here and here that we can drill and tap and hold the screws into. And I want to put a plate on either end. So we got some old steel that we're going to recycle, put on here and here. I'm going to fit them up with it. And once we fit up with it, Daryl's going to weld it all in. Okay, let me just grab my glasses. Let's start with the first one here, buddy. I'm gonna start up on here. Nope. Just one tack is good. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't have my ground on. No problem. Ha ha. Ground down. There we go. That's the way. Yeah, because it's sitting on wood here. That's the wire piece of the. Wire. There it is. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can give me a tack of the top, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Went straight between the fingers. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, give me one right there. Yeah. Now you want to give me uh, one at each corner here too. We'll have more tacks there. Pull it nice. Okay. There we go. We're gonna do another one over here. There you go, sir. Okay. Good. Good. Looking high. Yeah, as you're welding, it's uh, gonna break it up. 
Oh. As it's tacking, it's pushing it. <laughs> you were pushing it around with it? Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this should probably hold better now that I got that tack there. Okay. Tack right over the tack. That's good. Yeah. Right down there. That one's gonna be better for me. Yeah, right there. Very good. here now. Okay. Dogs are on the inside. Yes, please. Yeah, anywhere on the top, anywhere at the bottom, or you know what? Aim for corner to corner. Corner to corner. And then when I'm done, I'll kind of test, uh, uh, tilt around. it, and you can top bottom. Start okay. at the bottom. Okay, I'm good. You don't have to move it around a bit for attack, just, just hold it and let hold it go. It. Yeah. Okay. okay, now okay. top and bottom on the inside. One more at this end here, and uh, those are okay. I'll let you have that, yeah. Yes, sir, looking good, man. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, on. Tip bottom, ready for you. Just do a smaller tack at the bottom. These ones aren't bad, but when you start getting here, you do like the top, do the bottom, and do half. It kind of you want to spread the heat around a bit. You don't want to go too much because you don't want to get any warpage. So These ones here are just gonna be straight, 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 straight. That's it. So just there, there, then. Sure. Yeah. Or you could do here. You could do half of this. Then you can come back, do this half, and do here. Oh, just, just, half just half. yeah, just to blend it up to okay. spread the heat. We don't get a lot of. Um, you know what? Yeah, you could do that. We're gonna have to weld the outside too. Because I gotta be able to grind all that smooth. Okay. What well, would you prefer done first? Is there a difference? Um, well, you gotta tack there. Okay. Maybe weld the outside here. Okay. Um, yeah. That'll work. Okay. Okay. And these guys? And, and these are just gonna be straight and straight. You, you can't get the inside. inside as well? Yeah. Right, yeah, you, you can do a stitch here, stitch there. It just gives it nice and secure. Okay. It's more for, at this point, it's more aesthetic. So if we're getting here, I can grind it all flush and it's gonna look like one chunk of metal. Okay. Chunk of metal. Yeah. Good. Up. We're gonna have to do a little bit of grinding to clean it up so we can put a, a flush um, plate on here. What are we've uh, while Daryl was welding that up, I got this old steel and I drilled a couple holes. What I want to do with this is I'm actually gonna mount some lights in here. Now these are gonna be mounted inside and covered. You'll never see it, but I'm gonna have little lights in here to light up the um, the sea, the writing that we have on the plate there. Um, this should work. I'll get Daryl to tack it. What I'm gonna do is tack it or have him tack it on the inside. And the rationale behind that is that those screws, when they're in here, they're not going to cast any shadows on there. We should have a clean, clean, uh, clean light. Okay. Right on. So we'll, uh, there, I'm going to get you to just give me a tack right in the middle. Mm -hmm. At the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So what I want is a tack on the inside, the corner here, and the corner here. Same with the other one. 
I'll switch sides with you. Yeah. Same thing at the bottom, middle. And then inside, inside corner. We'll put a little more tack after when we're. But yeah, I don't want to do a whole lot of welder because I want to be able to mount the lights. They come with little grommets and everything. Got these at uh, Princess Auto. I think it's like two bucks for one of these, so I got a couple. But if you have a couple of these fed through here, sitting on the inside, when you have the plate, you're not going to see the lights themselves. You just see the light casting kind of glowing through. It's be very cool. Makes sense in our, in oh, our yeah. heads. Hopefully it makes sense in oh, your yeah. head. But uh, So if you want to give maybe like a half inch tack here, like a little half inch weld here. Okay. And just, uh, you know, I wonder if it's worthwhile if we, yeah, if you do it here and here, say a half inch weld, just beef up that beef tack. That one. Yep. Um, if you could put another tack right here, just a, like okay. a little, just a touch, quarter touch, inch, touch one, quarter inch yep. there and here. Mm -hmm. And that way I can grind it. And when okay. you're heating it up, you're going to, it'll end up penetrating it. Okay. I think that'll make a nice little light box. Yep. And then afterwards, when we put this on, I'll probably drill a hole here to let any rain water out. Cool. Okay. Let you have Adderhaus. Okay. And then we'll do some grinding. And again, this isn't for any kind of structural. Maybe it's just a just a beefier attack. Yeah, not as much as the bottom, but just a little more, so keep it permanent. Okay. Yep. Cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind some welds and try and make it look pretty. All right. Um, let the paint. We painted it. Yesterday we had uh, Daryl welded all this stuff up. Um, he's learned to weld. I think he did a fantastic job. Um, love working with the dude. Um, went, gave it a, a coat of paint. Went through everything. Uh, everything's black right now. I may end up painting it like a red primer instead because uh, it might blend in better with the truck. I'm not sure. Um, I did paint the center section white. Or it's an off white because that's what I had. Because what I want to do is get these little little LED lights that I got from Princess Auto, what do they call three quarter penny lights or something, I don't know. But what my plan is, is to uh, mount them here. I'll put this in in a second here, but I'm gonna mount these in here, is the goal. Let's, uh, obviously it'll sit with rubber on there. And then I'm gonna have this plate, which I need to drill it tap the holes in here so I can mount it. Then I'm gonna put a red primer on this part here. And I figured the white light on the inside, or the white paint on the inside with the red lights is just gonna help it glow a nice red. See, I don't know. That's the plan. I don't know. A lot of times the ideas are better in my head than what's in the, what actually happens, but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna do it. Um, the first thing I need to do before I mount the lights, um, yeah, I mounted a couple screws here for ground, so I can have uh, grounding wires on the inside, not a problem. Feed the wires out here, run it out to the power the power wire, get hanging down there, and then bolt it up. I don't know. Sounds pretty easy. Let's see what I can do. Um, start off, I'm gonna put the plate on here, and I drill some holes through it so it all lines up. Then I'm gonna drill and tap these holes here. Um, let's try it. All right, I got the plate here. Uh, getting primed right now, got it drying right now. Uh, I drilled all the holes, I tapped all these holes here. There's extra steel, thick steel so I can uh, do a tap properly. Um, I actually realized that I forgot to hit the time lapse button, so I actually didn't start it. Uh, good thing, because I had this on the tailgate of the truck, the chain snapped. The chain's all old and rotten, I did catch it. It fell on my foot, and this thing is freaking heavy. So, anyways, I got a big swollen foot right now. Not broken, I'm all good to go. I can work through pain. Pain I'm not worried about, it's, uh, if it was broken that would suck, but 
Anywho, got this all drilled and tapped. Uh, drilled. This is all drilled and tapped. Um, again, this, this center section is where it's going to be all lit up. So we're going to start by putting in some lights. Um, once we have these lights, I'm actually going to I put a screw in here. Got it all cinched down, and that's going to be my ground. So it's all clean metal underneath. Put a little bit of paint on the back side. So my thing is, I got to get all these little grommets off. So I got four lights here. Uh, of course, I'm get stuck here. Um, the black is the hot, the positive, and the white is going to be the ground. So I'm going to trim off, put on some uh, connectors so I can put on here, tighten it up, and make a nice, um, nice seal. Yeah, and then I'll run the hot wires together, and then I'll run a pigtail outside or out, out of the bumper. I can mount it in the loom up there after, but then I'll tie it into the existing light and I'll have, I should have it all powered up. Now these grommets are here because this is, uh, I guess, waterproof lights. This is for trailers and stuff. Um, obviously not a trailer. This is uh, anything but a trailer. So just get all these things in, these little grommets in. There you go. I drilled some holes here before I painted everything to uh, run the wire through. Now I don't want to run the wire through and chafe the wire, so I've got some holes. I'm probably gonna put feed the wire through on here or heat shrink if I had to. Let me see if I get some holes. I guess at this point I put this on. Don't want to do it just yet because uh, still a little bit wet. Let's put it on the truck. Okay, over here at the truck again, bumper in. Roll pad, structural roll pad. Let me get used to seeing that. Okay, I wrestled with a little bit of the grind. Uh, the welds over on the inside of the ground down a bit, put a little bit of splash of paint on it. Put a couple of bolts to see if it work. It's in. I'll uh, rest the bolts on so I can secure it down. And then, uh, I'll put the, do the wiring and then I'll set the shield on with the cover. It'd be nice because it's not a, a big, a big bumper in there or something like that. I mean, I like the factory bumpers, but I don't have uh, access to one. And I'm trying to do it on the, on the cheap. Not that I'm cheap, but I'm cheap. No problem admitting that. <laughs> Give this a clean before I put the lid back on. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I ended up putting a little hole here. In case there's any moisture, collects in there, it's just gonna help uh, drip out. Hopefully. And I do drive this in rain, I drive this in snow. I drove it in uh, three weeks of snow last year. No problem. It's, it's a truck. Mentor, drove outside for years. Why wouldn't it now? Okay, I'm gonna get tighten that up, tighten the wiring, and then hopefully, hopefully the plate will be ready for that. This should be nice. Fit it to this little rack that I had, but I want to tie that into where are we here? right here. So I'm gonna cut these short, strip them, put it in here, clamp it, you trace it. That's the plan. Ah. Uh, Hang with me, we'll get it done. All right, the final piece. I'm gonna get a couple screws ready and we're gonna, we're gonna mount this. That's the goal, never try. Hope it's gonna fit still. Anyways, I'll fix that screw. Just dying to try it out. 
I need to turn the lights on. You've seen it before I have. Okay. Let's get this to turn it on properly. Oh, 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 baby. I'll turn the lights off of the shop to just see this. Tell me that's not awesome. Pretty good. I'll fix this one hole up here because the uh, the plate seems to be a just just quarter inch. I need to do an oversized hole there. Easy enough for me to to fix up. It does what it's supposed to do. I'm pleased with that. It's solid. It's gonna protect the gas tank. I'm gonna sorry. Bear, bear in mind. Got the gas tank here. It's all protected. There's space here. But it's going to be nice and protected. Oh, baby. All right, as we wrap this project up, come along. The structural roll pan bumper thing, whatever you want to call it, came out fantastic. It was, uh, it started off with an idea from Daryl when he said, we got to put some protection on there. I'm like, you're right, we do. So, we played around some ideas and I said, well, I could get a piece of channel. Got some, some, uh, some scrap channel laying out back behind the garage. Got a, cut, a piece of steel, cut it out of the plasma table at work and cut it to sit, uh, suit this. Ran some holes, mounted up, threw some lights in there. That thing's wicked. Imagine that at night driving down. It's going to be nice. Anywho, got that project wrapped up. The gas tank is, is looking all wrapped up. The fuel line, everything. Um, Still working on these muffers. Got that one, got the other one cut off. I just got the new mufflers, came in, got mufflers, I got pipes, I got everything I should have. Um, the next point is to get the driver's side up and going because it's got all kinds of crotchety bends because the, um, the master cylinder is underneath the floor. Kind of uh, don't really like that, but uh, that's what they put in there. A lot of hot rodders use it. Sounds good, it works good. So they ran the exhaust around it, and it's all janky janked. So I'm gonna see what I can do, see if I can make lemonade out of lemons. And uh, come out with new fresh tailpipes out here. I may end up putting a little notch here so I can get it nice and tight. Um, not sure yet what I'm gonna do with that, but uh, gotta do the exhaust. Then I can start putting all the floorboards back. And then I can get the filler nozzle, filler neck coming through the floor. That should wrap it up. So I thought, well, when I was working in the, the bumper, I was drilling some holes on the, I put the bumper on the tailgate to drill the holes. Well, the damn chain let go. Hope you can see it, but I'm sitting inside a hose here. The crap went off. And it collected water and it rotted the chain. So that chain let go. Oh, down came the bumper on my foot. I'm okay though, not a problem. Um, I can deal with pain. It's not broken. Not a problem. So now I got to figure some way of holding this tailgate um, Open so I can lay it straight. So I started digging through my uh, my stash I got uh, These little clips here Thought about mounting them here You mount it tight. It's spring-loaded. I don't know if you can see spring lo spring-loaded I can hold that Spring load. If I have it here, the way it's tapered, I should be able to close the tailgate and it should clip in if I drill the holes right, one on either side. And uh, maybe I'll put a chain across and a, and a handle or something so I can, well, that an old wrench has been kind of kicking around. Maybe I'll mount it like this and I'll put a chain on either end and turn it and then I got a hidden tailgate latch. Jeez, oh, amazing. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do something like that. Yeah, but until then I can get the exhaust done. I'll get the floorboards all, or the uh, bed floors all back together. And then I'll jump on this project and maybe it'll be time to drive it on the, on the street. Anyways, this is Steve, Rank File Forge. You know what to do, like and subscribe. I uh, hope this video was interesting, helpful, or just 
came up with a good idea. Maybe you want to do something like this on your own rat rod or whatever, but uh, like and subscribe and uh, get out the garage, get dirty. Cheers.